for you. Toward us. Pardon? Sins. What else? Death. Pardon? Death. Death? Death. Yeah. Yes. Pain. Pain. Oh. Yes. Eight. Oh. Definitely another one. Yes. Suffering. Suffering. Yes. Pardon? Misery. Come on, so I'm going to tell you a little story. The hunter. The hunter was in a rainforest in Africa. Monkeys were scurrying in the branches in pursuit of one another. Colorful birds flew over the head, suddenly screeching filled the air. He lifted the rifle but saw nothing. He searched for the source of the sound. Nothing. Why all the racket? He spotted the bird who was darting back and forth to one particular tree. The bird seemed angry. Looking closer, he spotted the movement of baby birds in the nest. She must be the mother and must see something that he didn't. Then he saw the huge snake approaching the nest. And the mother left. Suddenly she came back with a leaf in her beak and covered the babies. She flew to a neighboring branch to keep vigil. To his surprise, the snake stopped and froze. Slowly it turned around and left. The hunter was puzzled. <coughs> Um, when he went back to the village, the natives told him why the snake left. The leaf was poison to the snake. This is a wonderful picture for us to remember when we come under attack by Satan. The leaf the mother bird had laid over the nest to shield her young was poisonous to the snake. Our Heavenly Father, who put the instinct into the heart of a mother bird to protect her young, and who provides the means to shield them from the serpent's fangs, would not leave his own without a shield of faith, a helmet of salvation. The shield of faith is, <clears throat> is your heavenly Father's provision for the fiery darts of the devil, our soldier's primary defense against the enemy's attack. Fiery darts were frightening missiles, arrows dipped in pitch and then set ablaze. When the fiery dart came blazing toward him, he could stand fast with his shield in place. The shield was a scudum, I don't know if it's scudum, scudum, or something like that. It was made of iron, shaped like a door, covered in leather layers, which were soaked in water just before the battle began. And in the strength of his might, put on the full armor of God, that you may be able to stand firm against the schemes of the devil. For our struggle is not against flesh and blood, but against the rulers, against the powers, against the world forces of this, this darkness, against the spiritual forces of wickedness in the heavenly places. Therefore, take up the full armor of God, that you may be able to resist, the, re resist in the evil day, and having done everything, to stand firm. Stand firm, therefore, having girded your loins with truth, and having put on the breastplate, breastplate of righteousness, and having shod your feet with the preparation of the gospel of peace. In addition to all, taking up the shield of faith in which you will be able to extinguish all the flaming missiles of the evil one, and take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the Spirit, and with this in view, be on alert with all perseverance and petition for the same. Any other comments? I noticed on the front of your shield you have a symbol. Yes. Can you see that? That's a